Hi friends and welcome to my new tutorial. I'm SV and today I will show you how to make very nice hexagons intro titles. So in today's video I will show you how to make a redshift dome lights, how to make a light blick simulation. I will show you how to make very interesting hexagons texture with metal reflection, it's very will be very easy. I will show you very nice knot uh, for redshift, this is round corner, I will show you how to easily use it. Uh, then we will talk about uh, camera animation with motion blur and uh, finally I will show you some small after effect post production. I will show you how to apply a Twitch plugin uh, which is from Video Copilot and I will show you how to make a glitch effect with some sounds. So if you are ready let's start. I am in Cinema 4D and I start from change of my render settings. Go to render settings and inside change to redshift. Today I will work with redshift. So in beginning uh, I will change my samples to 4 and 4 just for minimum. Uh, disable IPR going to system and increase bucket about 256. Very good and we are change a haze will be 576 will be very wide okay and 25 frames per second so i think everything ready uh, now i will work with my viewport going to option configuration view and increase opacity here you will have this black lines it's mean inside you will have only which will be rendered okay um, so proceed with text you can create any text what you like for my tutorial i will use a uh, two sorry tutorial only nothing more so it will be very wide like this and will be middle very nice what setting i will use for this text i'm going to cups and change villet cup and like this you see i have very nice corner uh, I will reduce little bit uh, radius, maybe 3 cm and 3 cm and will type, as you can see I have many different types, if you will change it, you will see something is changing, but I will use last one and grab it and grab it, like this, as you can see everything going inside, looks like very very nice. Ok, what we will do now, I'll keep like this right click to my text and current state to object like this finally i have my text so uh, right click again make select children right click connect and delete i have like this multi object so select this selection i no need it and i already no need my text i think i'm finished with preparation so if you like you can create any text with any fonts, I hope it anyway will work. What we will do now, redshift material, create redshift material. If you haven't like this toolbar menu, going to create, going to redshift and material, standard material. So uh, we apply this material to my full text like this. Very good. After that I am going to text and going okay uh yeah before before i create one more material i will change a color maybe for beginning it will be i don't know maybe red okay very good and i create one more redshift material going to my text polygon selection take selection tools and select everything what is inside hold shift on your keyboard and select like this Oh, you see, I forget one one word. So what we will do? I think it's very easy. We will create one more monograph text like this. Yeah, because I try to make everything fast, and finally I have mistake. This is normal situation. Yes, tutorial. I will 
I'll do like this. I'll do like right. Then transfer somewhere here. And put. OK. Finally, I have it. So right click. Current state from object. Select children. Connect and delete. I don't need this text anymore. I don't need these polygons. I collect this all text, connect and delete. OK, finally I have it. So again, apply to all my uh, all my text. Red material like this. Very good. Then going to polygon selection and select center selection of each my letter. You see, it's very simple and apply second material here. OK, if you make a fast render, what you have? You have like this. As you can see, corner is red and inside it's gray color. So I am increase just somewhere here. And now I will start set up my materials. Again, we will check what I have. I have like this. Very nice. OK, uh, first of all, I'm going to redshift light and create a DOM light like this. Inside DOM light, I can download any HDR map. I download Diva Studio map. I like it very nice and it looks like good. And disable background. I no need to see it just like this. OK, uh, what I have to do. First of all, my composition will be 300 frames like this and I will do very interesting very interesting simulation yeah uh, look if I will render now I have some reflection from some positions I'll go to doom light going to rotation tool and on the frame number zero I select this keyframe on the frame number 250 somewhere here this game frame will be 360 degrees like this. It means my doom light will turn and all time uh, I will start now. Look, yeah, just a moment. I will show you. I will start my uh, again uh, IPR render. And when my frame is coming, as you can see, I have nice bleak. All time is different colors because my, my HDR map is turning around. So uh, in present moment, I'll keep like this. Very good. Only what I change, I select this game frame and make it liner. Select this game frame and make it liner also. OK, uh, what we will do now? We are work with my textures. So I am increase somewhere here. And I will show you how to make these corners like a bevel. Uh, sometimes you can use this bevel tool, but sometimes it's not working. For redshift, we have very interesting node. So I'm going to redshift material. OK, first of all, I make IPR. You will see somewhere here. Very good. I am going to redshift graph. And inside of this red shift, first of all, I will set up some color. It will be a little bit dark, maybe like this. I will apply small reflection of this. And what I will do now? Somewhere, just moment, I have to find corner. Yeah, in the utilities, I have round corner. So. Take this node and apply this node to my overall bump input. For this node, I absolutely no need to use a bump map. This is not working without bump map. So I just apply it to my input like a bump. And as you can see, my rounds already like a bevel. So inside I have not too much settings. First of all, this is radius, then number samples. Uh, start play with radius one centimeter and change the different you see coming more make two centimeters yeah coming more make I don't know three centimeters 
and you see some coming some errors yes it mean do not use too much for my tutorial i will use only two centimeters if you increase the samples you have more more beautiful pictures but for my tutorial six will be enough okay with this material we are finished now i hope you are understood how working this round corner you can use for any object but don't forget this is not a geometry this is like a fake geometry yeah like a like a bump okay uh now we will work with my second material which is inside i will show you also very nice very interesting feature so look at uh, inside in redshift we have cinema 4d shader so put it here and inside you can download any shaders from cinema 4d but in my version i have alpha version of redshift and some shaders not working uh, today i will use surface tiles like this uh, how i will use it just to receive any result uh, this shader is not working directly to material. You have to apply the shaders to texture. So I apply this to the texture, general, yes. And the, then this texture I will apply to my material. Uh, so how I will apply it? I no need this for my diffuse color. I need this for bump. I will take bump map, apply this texture to bump and apply this bump to my material overall bump input and what i have as you can see now i have very nice tiles okay going to texture push this tiles and you have this menu here or you can make like this also you will have here it's up to you how more easy work for you but i will work in this area okay uh, first of all pattern I will change pattern to hexagons you can change wherever you like I don't know brick square rounds rings it's absolutely up to you as you can see some bump is coming yeah for my video I will use hexagons so change like this and now we are change a color first will be black and then will be white white and again white like this as you can see looks like very very nice so uh, now i will little bit reduce my ground uh, bevel white for five percent like this just little bit and i will reduce a global scale i no need very big hexagons maybe if you like you can live like this but i will reduce for 20 percent only and as you can see i have something strange my hexagons not working why coming like this i will show you it's very very simple if i'm going back to my uh, redshift texture settings i have very nice options so cinema 4d shaders i have texture parameters and as you can see my texture parameters only 128 up to 128 and only 8 bits channel first of all i will change this bit channel to 32 like this and check nothing happened absolutely nothing happened and we will increase my white and hey maybe only 500 and 500 and what i have yeah you see now it's coming now something coming but if i will increase it i will put like this and if i will increase it you see anyway it's not so good quality so uh be careful with these parameters because if you have very slow computer you will have a problem your your computer can stuck i know my computer and i will increase it up to 4000 and 4000 now i need a time my computer will prepare everything calculate and look at this look at this very very beautiful very nice without any remarks i have very nice reflection if i turn i have some specular okay now i'm going to my material and i will change my roadness maybe like this 
Okay, very good. And, and, and what I will do now? I think I will apply... No, I no need color. I no need color. I will make this like a metal. So I'm going to Fresnel type and make it color thin. Inside I will make a white color and white color again. Like this. What I have now? Just little bit weight. Yeah, you see? Very, very nice metal bleak. And I like to make this anisotropy. So, take this and increase up to 1. What I have? Now we will check. I have like this specular and rotation. I don't know, maybe also like this. We will check what we have. Will be something or not. Now we will check. So, of course, it's taking long time because this is very, very wide texture. Yeah. Maybe I will make a pause here just to check in this area. No, rotation I no need. Just a moment. Okay, and increase up to 1. What I have now? Looks like, yeah, I will keep 1. Because if I will make less, I will have something strange. So I will use 1. Yeah, I will use like this. Okay, uh, going back to my render. And I have like this. So just a little bit back. Maybe a little bit more back. And what I have. Look at this. Very, very interesting. Looks like very interesting. But uh, what I can add to my textures? Okay. Uh, these parameters, this my shaders and my texture, I can use like a map. Like a map for my colors. As you remember in some of my previous tutorial, I will show you, I show with you, sorry, I show with you how to use a material blender. Now I'm again use it. Take material blender and apply this material blender to my main surface material. That with, which we have already created, I will apply like a base material, like this. And I have back. Everything like was before, as you can see, yes. What I will do now? I will take one more material, standard material, and you can use any color. I don't know, any color. Absolutely up to you. But for my tutorial, I will use a red. Just normal red standard color. I will apply it for layer number one, color number one, like this. And as you can see, nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. Everything like before, nothing changed. Yeah, look, look, I very like it. So I need apply some mask for this material. For mask, I will use these shaders. This and this. Just take from here, go to here, and apply blend color one. This is, will be mask for my second color. And what I have? I have like this. As you can see, looks like very nice. It's mean. Uh, my base color, this metal, will, will be inside and my material will be outside. If you don't like it, you can use you can use a color invert. Just take from texture to color invert and from color in invert to blend. And you have inside red just now and outside metal. Also very nice. You can change any color what you like. I don't know. Green, blue, and as you can see, it very fast applied and not necessary to make a cloner object. Uh, absolutely, it working very, very good with reflection, with everything. I hope, I hope you will use it in your any motion project, in your any graphic. Okay. Uh, also, I will show you how to very interesting make some additional. I don't know, I will increase a little bit, like this. Just put somewhere here. Uh, look, if I use color invert before bump, just like this, and then to the bump. And like this, look what I have. Look what I have. 
just moment we have to wait yeah you see this is metal going like outside i have like a cell like a hexagon cell and looks like also very very interesting okay i don't need it now i just show you like a small example like this this we don't need and like this so we are going back to my uh first texturing okay what we will do now i will set up a camera going back and start play with camera take camera just standard redshift i mean uh, cinema 4d camera and apply to this camera tag redshift camera tag okay we will use a bokeh but not now not now little bit later okay uh for my text i like to use like in my tutorial very very interesting uh, animation so going somewhere here make maybe like this okay and all time check what you have maybe i will put here yeah like this i like to make a very very big uh, letters just nobody can read in beginning what is inside only can think about this so okay uh, for each my frames i will use i mean i will use only one camera yeah okay in beginning zero frame i will make game frame for any position and for any rotation then i am going to 25 frames forward like this and little bit change camera maybe to forward and maybe maybe like this okay very good again change position and rotation so my camera will moving like okay it's coming very slow like this and looks like very nice and don't forget my light also have turning and as you can see i have very interesting result okay came frame number 26 here i going to some absolutely other position i don't know maybe maybe like this in my tutorial yeah just 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 a moment now we will find a good position yeah okay i like it so frame number 25 like before and now we have like this only one frame different i have like this and going forward one second more just little bit go up like this okay okay one frame next again find very some interesting position i don't know maybe i will use something uh something i don't know okay maybe somewhere here like this next frame again game frames one second more it will be 75 here yeah? and put up okay very good like this one frame more and find some other i don't know some other i like it yeah you can check here the final result yeah okay put here and then little bit back here like this okay yeah my mistake yeah because i didn't put some frames so i'm going to forward make like this then i going to 100 and then make like this and maybe little bit turn maybe like this okay very nice okay next frame again find some new position i don't know maybe maybe we will use here maybe like this yeah you see it's it's long time to make a keyframe 
but as you can see it's some without preparation just something push something can you will have finally very interesting result i will show you okay like this maybe mm -hmm. one frame more one two three four five i don't know maybe eight i will use maybe different eight frames I, uh, I mean not frames different position yeah what i will do now maybe like this yeah look 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 for this reflection i very like it okay 50 somewhere here maybe like this okay very nice one frame more i don't know what what i will use now it's not so easy okay maybe we will use like this or maybe somewhere here yeah okay i like it uh 75 mm -hmm. one frame next Mm-hmm. Then two hundred. Okay. And next somewhere from this result then i'm going to frame 250 and put camera to okay this will be zero this will be zero this will be zero this will be zero and just put back pick up again back this is like we are going almost to the final yeah sorry my mistake somewhere here and maybe here very good like this and finally 300 my camera going too much back like this so set up and set up uh, now i am disable my ipr just to check what i have so will be like this like this like this like this very nice looks like very nice but what i don't like i don't like uh, i'm going to animation here i will take all my position and rotation and make it liner i no need any smooth for animation liner just like this okay going back to my startup user and check again this animation very interesting very interesting what i have so uh now i will work with camera redshift and i will enable bokeh so check uh, if i will render now what i have i have like this i cannot see nothing so in the camera settings i'm going to object and frame number zero i will apply somewhere here you see only 43 centimeters render again and look at look at this picture yeah very nice here is good here it's not so good uh, i will use it and i will also animate it so focus distance first keyframe then frame number 25 will be 
here very good it's mean my focus will be from this place to this place slowly coming next game frame my focus distance will be here and 50 will be here if i will render again look at this yeah you see focus will be in that position okay next game frame focus will be somewhere here don't forget to push game frame focus will be here don't forget to push keyframe. frame somewhere center and all time before change of my camera position all time i will change my focus distance just to receive very nice blur result push somewhere here maybe push somewhere here top this is l letter yeah and maybe somewhere down okay very good one key frame more will be somewhere here key frame will be here again keyframe mm -hmm. very nice again check a render what i have look at this very nice everything in the focus going to 200 mm -hmm. next game frame and 250 here for example if i will render somewhere in this position something will be not not so in good focus some will be in good focus yeah very nice okay uh, and last last one this will be 700 and last one will be zero why like this because zero focus if i will render now i haven't almost nothing yeah maybe maybe i will use a five only i don't know just for just for example if i render a little bit before i have like this blur you see and close to last keyframe i have like this too much blur coming too much blur this is will be like an end okay we are finished with blur and last one last one settings i like to apply a camera moving camera moving blur going to redshift going to basic motion blur and make enable just without any change of settings okay just for example i will render one picture just to show you the quality i like to render this t i'm going to settings i will make a i don't know maybe 64 we will check for 64 and render and check what i have now i will increase up to 100 percent and look at this in this area i have in focus this blue red this blue red and blue red not only by camera also by moving very nice for final render i use it one to eight one sorry one to eight samples uh up to you you can use everything what you like but this uh 300 frames working on my computer for renders approximately approximately one hour 40 minutes with 128 okay when everything ready you make a render uh you're going to after effect okay what i have in my after effect i download some sounds i am radio static some drone ambience and some glitch small uh just create from my all frames new composition i have my composition if i check it what i have i have like this you see very nice very nice reflection metal reflection moving of camera and looks like very good but look at this uh when my camera is changed 
you see what I have? This is coming from Redshift because my uh, Redshift, if I go in here, calculate start and end from previous frames and I have this very strange uh, effect. So, uh, but for my tutorial this is good because I am apply adjustment layer just moment i'll check not this this adjustment layer with twitch you can find it in video copilot so how i apply it just check i am going to push you on my keyboard and i found some uh keyframes okay look at this just before change of my camera i have amount zero don't forget to apply for twitch all everything then when my camera change position my effect start working and then going again to back okay if i will play it what i have i have like this you see like a very interesting glitch effect if you don't like it of course you cannot use it it's it's up to you but for this tutorial i think it will be good and as you can see my blur coming like this yeah of course you can make it by i don't know you can make it by uh, standard Adobe After Effect options, but for um, motion blur in Redshift, it's not taking too much time. Maybe maximum one seconds, two seconds per render is this is nothing. Yes, and finally you have so nice result, not like in After Effect. Okay, then I will apply some. I am radio static. If I'm going, and if I, you will check a uh, waves. Just a moment, I will show you why it's not loaded. Mm, very strange, but that doesn't matter. Yes, I have some sound. Yeah, I have to apply it. I have some sound and when I have glitch, my sound is zero. Then when my glitch finish it, my sound is minus 48, which is mean also zero. Uh, what I have, if I will play, hear it. I hope you hear the sound. After that, I apply some ambience like this. Just sound for background. And then I take from Video Copilot glitch small and apply this in the end like this. Just for last glitch, I have very interesting effect. You see, like old TV, but looks like very interesting. Okay, and finally, I will add one more adjustment layer before glitch with magic look bullets. And I have some, maybe, maybe somewhere here. I have some like a movie, movie looks. Yes, uh, for this, I will use uh, just a moment. I will use a classic blockbuster. Mm, yeah, I think it was classic blockbuster. Yeah, okay and last layer this is just black for what for beginning is black then by opacity yes coming to white and finally again coming to black so very good again check what i have okay i hope this tutorial will help you, will help you to make a nice your animation motion graphic for your any youtube channel or any your project so if you like my tutorial please subscribe please put like share to your friends and check all my other tutorials see you next time goodbye friends